See the picture right there. Look at the, the pattern. This is a 1942 picture. Look at the pattern on the sky. Look at the pattern that that picture is exhibiting where those spherical deals which are not really a sphere. They have a different shape. It's a weird ass shape. We call them a sphere, but I see that it's teardrop. Exactly like the ones I recorded colorful at night. See, like a teardrop, both of them. The one is with the tip up and the other one with the tip sideways. But you you see these these patterns in the sky, look, it's that those are hands. This is what people cannot go there. This is the pattern that this reality is made with. I keep repeating this because people don't understand this deal. They think I, I'm just making this up and I'm seeing hands and I'm tripping out. No, man, you can look at every single image. You will find that these two be looking deals are finger. Look, that's the fingernail right there. It's three dimension and it's difficult to isolate a one, one single hand that shows the, fi the five finger. But if you look at the, the thing in a certain way, then you find that these are exactly like I'm saying, these are hands and these are all fingers and they go in every direction. It's difficult to, to I mean, this is difficult, man, to, to think. If you don't have the eye, I don't know which way you can look at it. It's like those pictures where they have a bunch of dots and then you start, if you look at the center of the image with the peripheral view, you start seeing images forming around. They are in, embedded in the image. You just don't see it at first. But once you start looking at one part of the image, without moving your eyes around, then you start seeing this pattern forming around, then you're able to pinpoint, oh, wow. See those? But this image is it's not just like that. This is a, a, a complex deal, man. It's just like I say, it's all hands. And they go sideways, they go horizontal, diagonal, vertical. I mean, for somebody that had never heard of this, this sounds insane. And I thought it was insane for a long time. But once I found that image of the moon, the, the, the colorful image from Apollo 8, then I knew that, and enlarge it, of course, this image right here, that image. Once I discovered what that, this is culture, look, when you enlarge the image, you see the exact same pattern that you saw in that picture of the sky in 1942. This is the exact same, exact same thing. These are the sculptures on the moon's surface. And it's made the exact same way, it just repeat because that's what that, this reality is made out of. The moon is sculpted to the rim with these hands in every which way, big, small, huge. The entire moon is grabbed by a hand, exactly like Earth, like every single planet too, and the sun. In fact, the solar system is grabbed by a huge ass hand but it's made in such a way by trillions of trillions of tiny hands and in which in, in three-dimensional way that is difficult to spot it unless you know about that pattern. I mean, I studied this for 20 years and I keep seeing patterns on these so-called craters. There are not any damn craters, they're molten uh, sculptures. 
hexagonal, octagonal, triangular, square, holes, melted, and they all are lying in, in, in patterns. They are lying in this pattern, that way, this way, I mean, you name it, like this, like this, like that. It's incredible. For somebody that had never heard of this, it will sound insane, but when you start looking at images of the moon, and on every single moon has the exact same design. You cannot teach this in one fit in, in ten minutes. You have to research this deal. If you listen what I'm saying, you will find out that that's exactly what it is. Because I have studied thousands upon thousands of images. This thing, the, the illusion that these uh, patterns make is unequal. It made faces of alligator, frogs worms, fish, you name it. But when you enlarge the image, you realize it's all made with hands. I mean, even worms, you can see feet, dead people looking up on, you know, but then when you really enlarge the image enough, then you see that all of it is made with that pattern of hands. You see here, there's like buttercup flowers. This one, this one, this one, that one, it's all in alignments. All of these are in alignments because they all make enormous hands and fingers. And you see this is square, those are fingernails. I mean, this is hard to explain. Like I say, in 10 minutes, you're not gonna be able to explain all of this and show each one of them, like I'm saying. Just look at this hand right here. This is a hand like this. And then you see the, the 